like I was saying, it's important just to be honest. And that means about stuff that I don't necessarily also want to be honest about. Um, vulnerabilities, fears, you know, what we feel is our limitations. It's, um, it can be all too easy for Mercury and Leo energy to try and discount that, try and seem perfect and seem, you know, invulnerable. And we're all human. Nobody's perfect. We all have challenges, you know. We all have things we have to figure out and look for. And, and even those people who are enlightened, you know, still have to live and are still human. And there's still those moments of doubt and pain. And So embrace it. Just be honest. When you, when you embrace your vulnerabilities, you will gain so much. You know, with Mercury and Leo, you can seem superhuman. Excuse me, I'm hungry. <laughs> you can seem superhuman. And something, anything humanizing is just a wonderful thing for this energy. Anything that affirms the fact that, yeah, I'm just a human at the end of the day. And you're a human too. I may be awesome and excellent, like Mercury and Leo is. But... I mean, why do you need to... Why is the screen freaking out? There's literally... All the lights here are good. Alright, whatever. Uh, just try and focus, Mercury and Leo. Focus through the weird shit that's happening on my... thing right now. Okay. Good, there we go. Weird. Anyway, sorry. Um... um Yeah, just be honest. Okay. So, going from the list. Uh, George W. Bush. Mick Jagger. Fucking awesome. Harry Berry. Fucking awesome. Um, Bill Clinton. <laughs> Remember that whole, like, be honest thing? That's it. That's, yeah. <laughs> um, Roger Federer. Awesomeness. Mm -hmm. Ben Affleck. Mm. Marine Le Pen. Hmm. You don't know who um, Marine Le Pen is, or Marine Le Pen, it looks in English. She's this um, really conservative French uh, politician who's just insane. <laughs> I mean, from, from my experience at least, and maybe she's changed, I don't know. I, I always give Mercury and Leo benefit of the doubt. Maybe they've changed, you know, they are capable, you guys are capable of amazing, radical, beautiful self-transformation and growth and change. But the last I saw, she's just very racist, very, oh, just boringly, boringly, boringly lower level Leo. Lower level Leo is so boring, because it's just so full of ego and bullshit. It's just so easy to see through. No. Anyways, again, just be honest, be yourself. It's doing that white thing again. I wonder if that'll show up in the final thing. So let me try. One second. Maybe that was it. It was just getting overloaded by so many light. I don't know. It's a good metaphor. Too much light, not a good thing. You gotta have the right amount of light for the right situation, you know? There you go. Um, that's where a Leo consideration comes into play. So, I got uh, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> okay. Charlie Theron. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just rolling my eyes at, um... The, the amazing myriad of the same movies that Sylvester Stallone has recently been in, the whole Expendables thing is just kind of lower level. I haven't seen it, so I'm not, I'm not here. Uh, I don't have a vastly informed opinion about these movies or anything, but from what I've seen, it's this typical lower level Leo. Well, let's just blow up a bunch of shit and, and shoot shit, and then that'll be really great acting and a really great movie. Again, I've never seen it. I'm not here to judge. I just couldn't help roll my eyes, and I had to explain that. Um, <clears throat> I mean, but, going back to, I mean, fucking Rocky, okay, awesome, and I've never seen those either, so I guess, whatever, but, I, I know that's a higher level, Mercury and Leo, I mean, training, bettering the self to accomplish something wonderful and monumental that only you can accomplish, awesome, 
So, Mr. Stallone, please, <laughs> dedicate yourself to a little bit more in-depth, uh, shit. That's, that's my, uh, my take anyways. I'm human, I'm fallible, whatever. Oh, still, honestly, oh god. Blowing uh, shit up does not make a great movie. Anyways, um, Charlie Theron, oh, that's cool. Jackie Kennedy, Onassis, Antonio Banderas. Awesome. Um, his being in Shrek, perfect example of, you know, the very nice, playful. That's a beautiful thing about this energy. It's so playful. You know, you're, you are able to just enjoy life and just, uh, have such a great time. And, um, you know, with kids, with adults, whatever, you are the perpetual child. And that's a beautiful thing. You know, air and fire are perpetual children. We need that. That's enthusiasm. That, that's, um... Just naturally, innocently enjoying life. It's beautiful. Innocence is a wonderful thing. And, um... Innocence in the form, in the sense of... Just pure enjoyment, as I mean. Well, I feel like I didn't explain that quite well enough, but I'll just keep going. Robin Williams! Awesome! Beautiful example. Beautiful example of Mercury and Leo. Being able to be... So effective in such a myriad of roles. I mean, Dead Poet Society, oh my goodness, you know. And then being a stand-up, that's just amazing. And, and, you know, very, very different roles. Mercury and Leo, again, excellent. Speaking of Mercury and Leo excellence, J.K. Rowling. You know. Um, so let's continue. Nelson Mandela. Beautiful, perfect example. Um, Andy Warhol, Frida Kahlo, Mike Tyson, I don't know that. Um, Jonathan, I don't know how to say his last name, Reismeyers? Reismeyers? I wish I did, sorry, I don't know how to say that. Uh, Michael Phelps, beautiful example. Ringo Starr, just, you, you guys have a fucking amazing list here, truly. Very, very cool. <laughs> Charlie Sheen, that's fascinating. Um... Oh, I love people. They're so fascinating and sometimes so ridiculous. Ah, oh, Fidel Castro, um, Julius Caesar, Tim Burton, Kobe Bryant, Benito Mussolini, Ernest Hemingway. Um, speaking of Ernest Hemingway, I think that's a really great example. I'm not familiar with the conditions of his suicide, but I, I do see Mercury and Leo's fixed nature in a suicide. I mean, a suicide is a, a, such a traumatic, tragic event, and, um, oh, it's such a shame. It really is. But, I mean, with Mercury and Leo, again, recognize your subjectivity of thinking. You know, I had to do it for myself, and once I did, I was aware, and I was like, okay, I, I have it under control, I can deal with it. I don't like an idea with it, but I can make it the best that I could possibly be. And, um, yeah, so just recognize sometimes, you know, if you're down in the dumps, if you're getting down on yourself, that's just your perspective. That's one perspective. And you could be missing something that's crucial to understanding a situation, you know? So never, I mean, you know, just be aware that just because something is going through your head, and it seems so sure as far as, um, you know, something like that happens or, you know, like, a, a, I need to kill myself or whatever. If it's a negative thing and it's stuck in your head, um, there, there's another perspective that I, that would behoove you to check out. So, um, anyways, moving on. Benito Mussolini, obviously we can tell which <laughs> level it is, hopefully. <laughs> um... Josh Hartnett, awesome, Lisa Kudrow, Henry VIII of England. This is really amazing. There's quite a list of Mercury and Leos, you know? And that brings me to the mind, another point that should be said. We are going into the Aquarian age. It is the age of Aquarius and its partner sign, Leo. So with Mercury and Aquarius, Mercury and Leo, you are born for this age. 
You were born, I mean, everyone's born for this age, but you were truly born with purpose in heart and purpose in mind to express yourself in a higher level and to show others how to do the same. Excellent. Um, slash David Hasselhoff, Kevin Spacey, Eric Bana. Evangeline Lilly, Julian Casablancas. How the fuck did I forget Julian Casablancas? One of my all-time favorite Mercury and Leos. Oh my god, amazing, 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 amazing. Um, mm, just oh my goodness, his creativity. It's it's the sun, man. It's the fucking sun. Oh, uh, I, I feel like I should say too. I live and have lived for the last couple of years with Ben. Uh, I, I did a video with, he's a brother of mine, and he has Mercury and Leo, and he absolutely embodies the, the higher level of Mercury and Leo, um, absolutely, you know, um, very secure in his sense of self, and yet able to listen to other people, and, and communicate and talk, um, you know, stands up for what he believes in, is honest, is just, I mean, so fair. And he's so understanding, you know, if Rensley or whatever, he's just such a sweetheart. And he, he, he knows that it's all good and that he just, he, for Mercury and Leo, that's such a huge thing. Any kind of generosity, you know, Leo is an extremely generous sign. And for Mercury and Leo, generosity is just a wonderful attribute that you guys have. So, um, yeah, love Ben. He's my brother. I'm so lucky and happy to have him in my life. All right, moving on. I, I should note, too, Ben, just like every other Mercury in Leo, has also undergone the challenges of subjectivity of thinking, of self-orientatedness. Not as much, I would say, for Ben. But, again, everyone, no one's perfect. We all have our challenges, you know. God knows I've exhibited lower-level behavior for every single one of my planets. Let's be fucking honest. We're human. We all have challenges, you know? Even if we pretend, if you know a person's energies or if you look at their chart, you can see where their challenges lie. And, you know, no one's fucking perfect, so stop pretending. That's... When you stop pretending that, everything falls into place. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, okay, back to this list. Where was I? Haley Celestia, I think that's how you say it, but um, basically the, the, uh, <laughs> and, and that's very fascinating, and Rastafari, Rastafari, I don't know if, I think Rastafarianism is offensive, I've read that somewhere, but um, in the Rastafari tradition, Haley Celestia, one is, is revered as a god, one, the first is revered as a god, and revered, revered as like the second coming of Jesus. Um, you know, with Mercury and Leo, that's it's really not that uh, crazy to believe. I, I personally don't believe it, but, you uh, know, shit. If people are dedicating their lives to following a man, and from what I've read about Haley Selassie, um, a very honorable, just man, then a Mercury and Leo, a higher level, is, is no... Uh, it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful to follow. I wouldn't follow anyone else, you know, if I was to follow... Somebody. Um, I think I said Helen Mirren, but I should say it again. You know, whether I said it or not. Um, Billy Bob Thornton. Amelia Earhart. Excellent. Having the audacity to, uh, yeah, that just goes to show shining your own light. Speaking of which, Helen Keller. Wow, I wasn't, I didn't know that. It's amazing. Only a Mercury and Leo. Well, I shouldn't say only, but it makes sense how Mercury and Leo got through the amazing challenges that she did. Speaking of amazing challenges, she... Wow. Only with the power of the sun in your mind can you accomplish that kind of stuff. It's amazing. Um, let's see. Frédéric Mitterrand. 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 Which is it? Frédéric Mitterrand. Uh, French Prime Minister. There you go. Uh, Richie Sambora of Deep Purple, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Kevin Bacon, Chris Cornell, awesome, amazing singer of Soundgarden, uh, Audio Slave, amazing. Mercury and Leo, perfect example. Um, who else has Mercury and Leo? 
M Shadows from Event Sevenfold, perfect example. Oh, I love Mercury and Leo singing. They have such fire and strength, and it's just so beautiful. They can really belt, you know what I mean? And both of those singers are really famous for their, their amazing power in their voices. Beautiful. Serge Tankian, another perfect example of what I was just saying. That's awesome. Guillaume Apollinaire. I know that name, but I don't know who that is. Off the top of my head. I'll have to check it out another time. Um, Emily Bronte. Henry Ford. Word. There are others. Magic Johnson. I have the terrible. <laughs> uh, bon Scott. ACDC. Awesome. There, there are plenty of others, but I invite you to check them out and find them. Um, I've included quotes uh, below these videos, and uh, I hope you enjoy. And, um, you know, I really do love Mercury and Leo. I really do. You guys are really capable of so much. So make the most of it, please. Don't squander that amazing beauty and light that you bring to the world, okay? Do it for me, yeah? <laughs> no, JK, do it for yourself. That's what really matters. Do it for yourself. But you know that. In your heart of hearts, you already know that. So, I'm just saying what you already know. <sighs> Thanks for listening. Seriously, if you've made it to this part, holy shit, dude. Three videos and fucking long, too. You are a true Mercury and Leo. That's awesome. Um, true Mercury and Leo at their highest levels. That's great. Infinite love to you and yours. <laughs>